Welcome to Claude Lynn's Arena in Hamilton for the first round of the brand new ANZ Premiership. And what a way to start Super Sunday. All six teams here battling it out in round one. Well, with me to chat all the matches is Anna Stanley. The first match, it was the Steel versus the Stars. Stars brand new to the competition. It was the Steel that had it 75-57. What did you make of the match? Yeah, well, I, first of all, I like the new uniforms for the, of the Northern Stars. thought they look pretty good in purple. And even though the Stars lost, I, I, I see this team as to be quite promising. And I think it, they just need some fine-tuning. Uh, the steel looked pretty comprehensive, uh, solid in the mid-court, strong down the shooting end. But for me, Emma Iverson for the Northern Stars team was the one to watch. She's obviously comes from a rugby background, very strong in that mid-court position, mixed up between centre and wing attack, showed her, her strength, her vision. She looked in long. She had a couple of different shooters to feed, Rusu Vaka, Vakavalu in that goal attack, and also Maya Wilson in that goal shoot position. So impressed with what she put out and look forward to seeing how much better she can get in this ANZ Premiership. You've got to say you're impressed with Janelle Fowler-Reed as well for the steal, wasn't it? She shot 50 goals. Uh, well, she got 50 yeah. in, so it was pretty impressive. But a particularly normal performance from the steal, they just put out the performance out there that they just don't make any errors, do they? No, they don't. And it's hard not to when you've got Fowler-Reed in the back. She's such a target. And Crampton and Francois Fru feed her very well. Well, the second game in the round was the Magic versus the Tactics. This time it was the Magic taking it out 71-48. Who impressed you in that Magic side? I mean, it was great to see Casey Coppola back out there, wasn't it? Yeah, awesome to see her back on court. She's had a tough year over the last couple of years, coming back from knee injury, having a baby. So her body's been through a lot, but she sort of was that seamless transition for her back on court again today. For me, uh, the South African import, Lanise Potgita, was the one that stood out for me. Uh, has had a real presence in the South African outfit, and she's come across here to New Zealand as the import for the Magic. And I thought she was really solid under the hoop, uh, fed well by um, the mid-court. Sinclair in there at centre and wing defence. Rasmussen was, was really strong in that wing attack position. Um, and Potgita finished with really good stats. So a really good first opening for her because I'd imagine uh, she can only get better and better in this competition. Yes, and I was also impressed with Kelly Jury, her combination with Casey Coppola. Well, the tactics have still got a bit of work to do, but we'll look ahead. It's the next game. It was the Mystics versus the Pulse. And you've got to say, this was the match of the round. It was yeah. only one in it, and it was the Pulse at the end. Yeah, it certainly was. It was a cracker. A lot of emotion in this game, especially for the likes of Tui Vaiti, who had left the Mystics to go down to the Pulse. So she'll be given a giving it a quiet little fist pump in the corner that she got one up over the Mystics. Look, it had, had the intensity, it had the physical nature that we expect from these two sides. Both sides were littered with, with silver ferns and, you know, it had that that, um, that intensity right from the start and for it to be, you know, one at the, in, in it at the end was pretty impressive. Look, um, impressive too was Sarah Bayman. She's over here from England playing for the Pulse. She got intercepts, she fed beautifully. What did you like about her? Yeah, I was really impressed with Bayman in the middle. She finished with about 26 or 27 feeds, so she was by far the dominant feeder in this Pulse outfit. But I, I don't think it was just her alone. I think I really liked the combination between her and Whitney Soonis. Imagine that can only get better and better with the likes of Sandra Edge, the assistant coach, former world's best mid-quarter sitting on the bench as their coach um, and yeah look forward to seeing that combination as well, as well. So again to reiterate the results it was the steal over the stars 75-57 followed by the magic putting in a strong performance 71-48 over the tactic. The mystics well they couldn't quite do it 55-56 against the pulse and we've got to say before we wrap up Tiana Matatude how impressive was she on her debut yeah pretty impressive given she is only 16 years of age. She yeah, plays beyond her years with such confidence and composure so certainly one to watch for the future. Well what a way to start Super Sunday ANZ Premiership. We can't wait for more. Thanks very much.